Introduction to Skills Resources. This is a video version of our online workshop. Later on in the um, workshop, I'll show you how to get to our online workshop calendar so you can sign up for workshops like this one. And you are, of course, more than welcome to attend this workshop live and sign up online if you would like to. This is a video version of that workshop for you to watch it, um, at your own convenience. I'd like to start with a really warm welcome from your library here at the University of Derby. I'd like to welcome you to this workshop um, and extend a welcome from the whole of the library team to your studies and your use of the library and its resources. My name is Naomi. I work in the skills team, so I've been very involved along with the, um, my colleagues in the team in developing, presenting a lot of the resources I'm about to show you. And I'll be doing this video for you today. This is what we're going to cover. So the workshop is designed to provide an introduction to these resources and how to use them. We're not going to go into lots and lots of detail. It's about letting you know that they exist, where, to, where they are, how to find them, and how best to search them and get the most out of them. We're going to cover our skills guides that we've got on the library website, um, interactive modules that you can access, our skills podcasts, our library YouTube channel, skills workshops, and where you can go for further support. We've got loads of other things available in the library. If you want an introduction to other library resources, such as finding journals, finding books, then check out our introduction to library resources workshop, which is also running regularly. And there is also a video version of that workshop as well. Now, the library website is the place that we are going to start. And I will, at this point, I'm going to stop sharing my these slides and I'm going to start screen sharing, showing you the library website itself. And we will go from there. So this is the library website. Its web address is www.darby.ac.uk forward slash library. You can get to it from a link at the very bottom of the main university homepage, or there's also a link in Udo that will take you straight through. Or you can go to your favorite um, search engine and type in Derby Uni Library, and it will probably bring you to this page. We're going to start this exploration of our, exploration of our skills support by looking at our skills guides. And you can get to these from this main library homepage. If we click up at the top here from this top menu support and then click skills guides, that will take us through to our skills guides hub page, which is here. So we've got six categories of um, on the page and you can see them all here. We've got preparing for study, critical thinking and reading, academic writing and referencing, types of assessment, maths and numeracy, and being successful as a student. Whilst we're on this page, just before we click on any of these, I want to just bring to your attention this search box here in the top. These search boxes appear throughout the, the library web pages. And a really good thing to note is what it says in light gray here at the top. So here in this one, if you can see, it says search this group. So that means if you pop something into that search box there, it's going to search this group of skills resources. So taking a note of what your search boxes are searching can be really helpful um, when you're using them. But this is a really handy search box because it means you can search within all our resources. Now, if you're looking for something really broad, like referencing, then you're best off navigating to it through the steps that I'm going to show you in a second, finding that category. Because what this search is going to do is it's going to find every instance of the word referencing, for example. So if I pop that in, and I have done that before, and click search, then you can see it brings up an awful lot. Um, referencing advice on referencing and plagiarism skills guide. Explore the topic, topic on referencing and plagiarism skills guides. Most of this stuff is coming from a referencing and plagiarism skills guide. So we can get to it straight from this search list, but it might be easier just to navigate straight to that guide. This search box is particularly useful if you're looking for something more specific. <laughs> I was going to put an elephant there. Um, so I'm just going to search for EndNote, which is a type of reference management software. And if I search for that, we've got four resources, four pages come up, four results come up. And you can see here we are linking directly to where we're talking about EndNote. So if you can't find what you're looking for specifically, then take a look at that um, search box from this hub page 
and that will search all of our skills guides that we've got there. We were talking about referencing just now. We're going to take a look at that referencing um, guide and I will show you how to navigate to it. So referencing is here um, under academic writing. We're going to click on that and it brings us up our five guides here that we've got about academic writing. So you can see we've got a guide on meeting the marking criteria, on note taking and paraphrasing, referencing and plagiarism, structure and flow and then an interactive module on writing skills. We'll come back to writing skills and that interactive module in a second. I'm going to focus on the skills guides for the moment. Just to mention though, whilst we're here again, we've got another search box. Now this again, take a look at what it's telling us. It's saying it's going to search all of our guides. So this isn't just searching the skills guides, it's searching all of the guides um, on the library homepage. So it's always worth taking a look and seeing exactly what you're searching in these search boxes because it does change depending on where you are on the site. For the moment though, we're going to click on this referencing and plagiarism skills guide. Now, each of our guides starts with this explore the topic heading. And some of those, it will just have explore the topic and your information on this one page. Others like this guide, it will um, break down the topic into different subtopics and have them here in the menu as well. We can see, we can scroll down, we've got lots and lots of information here and we've also got some helpful links and videos and indeed a podcast as we scroll down the page. To make those resources, that video, the, um, the podcast, the direct link through to cite them right in this case more accessible, we've also got these in the left hand menu options as well. So I'm going to highlight a few different things. Some of these we'll come back to later. So we've got a link here to our YouTube playlist on referencing. We'll look at the YouTube channel in a, in a minute. Um, I won't click on that one now. We've got an audio playlist, which will link through to our relevant podcasts. Again, we'll talk about those in more detail later on. And we have this further reading heading here. And here is where we've gone away and looked in the library catalogue. We've got taken a look at what um, more further books that um, might give you more information, more detailed information about this subject. And we've pulled them together on this further reading. These are direct links through the, to the catalogue. So if you click on one of these um, headings, it will take you through to that the catalogue record for that book. If we've got an ebook version of the book, then we have tried to link to that. So ideally, these will link through to the ebook. So you're online, you can access them from wherever you are. If we've no ebook version, we'll link to the print version of the book in the catalogue. Some of the other guides um, have a heading called downloadable resources. We don't have one on this referencing guide, but some of them have got downloadable resources. And these have got various things that you can download to your computer or your, your device. So these might be worksheets that you can work through um, with an activity or further information or, or something that you can download. So keep an eye out for that heading as well. So our skills guides, really helpful, lots of information. I'd like to I'll click on one of these um, subheadings. We can see we've got lots of information there. Links through to other things. We've got an interactive tutorial that you can link through to, interactive module that you can go through to. So take a look at these guides and see what information we've got there on each of these different topics that's going to help you with your studies. Going back then to this academic writing list page of all these guides. As you can see, we've got the four skills guides and then right at the bottom, we've got this writing skills interactive module. We've got access to a wonderful resource called skills for study. And this skills for study resource contains all these interactive modules. Now you can get through to the main skills resource and um, skills for study resource from our databases page. But what I've done in these skills guides is I have linked you through to the direct directly relevant modules. So here we have a link to the interactive module that's on this main hub page. And some of the others I will just show you, let me get back to this page. So if we go to critical thinking and reading, I'm going to click on that, click on critical thinking and reading skills guides. On this one, the interactive module is linked here in the guide itself because it's specific to this guide. For our writing skills interactive module because that's such a broad topic I've linked to it separately on the guide list here so you can find it more easily there as well. If I click through to this I'm going to click through. Now what we've got here is information about skills for study which is where the interactive module is held and 
We've also got instructions that I'm just going to show you for accessing Skills for Study for the first time. So when you access Skills for Study, um, you have your own personalised account in there. You log in with your normal University of Derby login details, but you have your own personalised account when you get there. The first time you access your account, you will need to you access Skills for Study, you'll need to set up that account. So on this tab here, accessing Skills for Study for the first time, I'm just going to scroll down. I've put some screenshots here for you. So first you'll see this screen that asks you to create an account. Um, you need to pop in your first name, last name, and your university email address, so your uni mail email address. Accept the terms and conditions and click create account. You may well then be told um, this message, which might say that an account already exists for that email address. That's because you are a student at the university. The university subscribes to this resource. Um, and there's a verification email gone to your Unimail inbox. So you'll need to go to your Unimail inbox, click on the link in the verification email, and that will then register your account. So every time after that, that you access Skills for Study, you'll need to sign in with your University of Derby login details, your student number and your password, if you haven't done so already, but you won't need to do that step again. You'll just go straight through. Now, I have already done this, so I am going to go through and I'll just show you quickly what it looks like. So the links here, click here to access Skills for Study, or these um, pictures are links as well, so you can click on those. And what I've done, like I said, so this is the linking you through to the Writing Skills Interactive Module. So I've given you the image for the Writing Skills Module. When we click through, I will show you, oh, see, now it's making it sign in. So when we click through, it takes us to the main Skills for Study page with all the different modules. You can see I'm logged in as Naomi. That's me. That's my account. I've got information about my preferences. I can say, um, save bookmarks. I can make little journal entries and it'll keep all those. I can see my progress with that personalized account that I've got. And we've got all these modules that are relevant. So we know we were looking for the writing skills one. We've got the image here. That's here. So I'm going to click on that and that takes me through to the module. These modules are interactive, like I say, so there's a diagnostic test, there's information to work through, and then at the end of each one, there's a module assessment as well. So you, it'll track your progress doing all of those things through that personalized account that you have. So here we are again, back at this Skills Guides homepage. The next thing I wanted to highlight was this last um, box here, being successful as a student. Now, what this is, is it's one of our podcast series. So we have resources on all major podcasting sites. You can find us there. If you search for University of Derby Skills Podcast on um, a, a major podcasting site, you will find our podcast. You can subscribe to it there. You'll get updates and things when new episodes are released. Our latest podcast series was this one, Being Successful as a Student. And it's, it's, it's brand new and um, it's very comprehensive. And so we've given it its own category on the Skills Guides page. So if I click on this, we get through to the Success as a Student guides. So for each, each of these is an episode of a podcast. By the time you come to this, there may well be more guides available. I think we've got more podcast episodes at the moment than we have guides. So keep an eye on this page to find more guides that are being um, up, uploaded. I'm just going to click on this. Hmm, let's not click on the first one just to mix things up. We'll click on enterprise and networking. So this is one of the episodes of that podcast. Again, we've got explore the topic. We've got some information about the podcast episode. We've got if we click on video playlist, we have got the um, we've got two episodes of the podcast, in fact. So we've got one episode with a University of Derby member of staff and we've got one episode with um, a University of Derby graduate. So for these topics, um, Alex, who did the podcast, has spoken to members of staff, current students, graduates um, of the university, loads of people to get all this information about how to really succeed in your studies. So we've got the links on this video playlist to the episodes on YouTube. We'll look at the YouTube channel in a minute. And we've got transcripts of these as well. So you can download the transcript um, and, and access it that way. If we click on the audio playlist, again, we've got these podcast episodes from Spotify. These ones are directly embedded in the guide. So you can listen to them directly from the guide like that. And again, we've got our transcript here that you can download. And then further resources. Again, Alex has linked to all the different resources that the, the people he's talked to have spoken about in their, um, in their episode. So 
lots and lots of useful stuff there to look at. I'm just going to go back, oh, back, 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 back. Um, loads of episodes here, as you can see. And like I say, there are even more than this um, that have been released. So take a look on YouTube or on the podcasting sites. And podcasting is something that we... Um, that we enjoy doing that we get um we think people find useful so do subscribe to our um podcast on those main podcasting sites and you will get notified when new episodes are released i've mentioned now a few times the library youtube channel so that is where we are going to go next so this is the library's youtube channel the direct, um, the direct web address is youtube.com slash c slash Derby Uni Library. You can pop Derby Uni Library into the main search box. This search box at the top of the page here searches YouTube. So you can pop Derby Uni Library into that search box in YouTube and you will find us. Um, or as, I've, as we've seen before, I have linked to the YouTube playlists throughout all the skills guides. So if there are, is a relevant playlist on YouTube, um, then that playlist is linked to from the skills guides that we've got. So you can get through that way as well. Again, you can subscribe. We've got a nice red subscribe button here. Um, if I was signed in, then I could subscribe to YouTube. And in fact, I have subscribed to YouTube um, on my on my on my um, account, so I get notifications through when we upload new things to the channel, and that's really handy because it's something that we update regularly. There's a few different ways you can access the resources on this site. Obviously, if you've come through straight from one of the skills guides, you'll be seeing relevant resources relating to that skill. But there's other things you can do as well. So we've got playlists here. We have organized our guides into various playlists. So we have a playlist, for example, here about Microsoft Office. There's lots of videos about Microsoft Office, presentations, proofreading, all these different topics. Going back to referencing, we've got referencing resources here. Let's just take a look at that playlist you can see lots of different videos here and lots of different video types so again we've tried to show what these different type video types are um, within the title so you know what you're getting into when you click on them and the other thing I'd recommend looking at is the length of the videos because that will give you an idea of whether what you're clicking on is going to be the kind of thing you want so this five tips for referencing six minute video going to give you five tips. So if that's something that you want that's short, snappy, going to just give you something to get started and, and get you give you all those key information, tips for referencing, that's one to click on. In comparison, this one down here, referencing library live streams from home, this is from um, the middle of the pandemic, I think, when we were all working from home, and we live streamed quite a bit during that time and this is um, one of those live streams as you can see it's all on referencing but it's over an hour long so if you want to sit and listen to an hour of myself and my colleagues talking about referencing then you can click on that one as well but it's a good idea to take a look at those um, the, the descriptions and the time to decide what um, what you want so again skill short referencing advice that's only just just a second under four minutes so that's gonna be a very different kind of video to down at the very bottom here again another live stream again it's over an hour long so loads and loads of different kinds of information here and if we go back to the playlist page you can see we have pulled these things together as well so we've got our live streams here down the bottom if you want to watch many many hours of us talking about these various topics it's all good stuff but it is many many hours then you can go to that skill streams playlist and take a look at that if you want to listen to our various podcasts then we've pulled those together into um playlist as well we've also i want to draw your attention to is this workshop extracts playlist so if they click on this these are again it's what it says on the tin these are extracts from our various workshops so they're not full workshops that we've recorded but they are clips from workshops that have been run live so we've we've taken our live workshops we've recorded the whole thing and we've picked out clips of various um key bits of that workshop to take a look at so again if you look at the times this one's nine minutes this one's five and a half minutes two and a half minutes um five minutes eight minutes they're much shorter um 
and clips and then you go tips of proofreading, coping with nerves in presentations, and they give you a flavor of the different workshops. So if there's a workshop that you're interested in or a topic you're interested in, but the workshop isn't for a few weeks time, you can take a look, see if we've got any extracts of that workshop that are gonna get you going. Or if you've attended a workshop and you want just a bit of a refresher on, um, on a particular area of it, take a look and see if we've got an extract of that workshop here on the um, YouTube site. The final way I'm going to show you for accessing information on this YouTube site is to search it. Now, like I say, we've got this search box at the top, which says search, that searches the whole of YouTube. So you can do that, you can search the whole of YouTube, but if you want to just search our Derby Uni Library channel, then look out for this magnifying glass here. If I click that, then another search box appears and that will search just this channel. So I am going to search for, what should I search for? I need to think of something to search for that's not one of these playlist titles that we've already just looked at. Let's search for, I'm going to put in time management. Time management. And that brings up all the videos we have on time management. So again, there's this real mix of things. Um, this is an extract from a live workshop um, about planning your day, time managing and exams. Again, I think that's a workshop extract. Oh no, maybe it's not. No, I think it would say library live if it was. Anyway, it's a three, three and a half minute video about time management in exams, managing your time over the course of an assignment. We've got a um, podcast episode about organization. It pulled up actually the list, the extra, um, the, the playlist of our workshop extracts there because it thinks that will be useful. And again, if we scroll down, you can see loads and loads of things that it has pulled up under that heading time management. The last thing I want to talk to you about is our library workshop calendar, which we can access here from the main library homepage. So this is back to the main library homepage. As I said before, it's derby.ac.uk forward slash library. And from this page, you can see here in this box in the middle, we've got lots of different icons. Third one along, we've got workshops. And I'm going to click on that. Now, when I recorded the main bit of this video, I forgot to add this bit in. So I'm using technological wizardry to talk to you now and add this bit into my um, video because I just wanted to make it really clear that all these workshops that you can see here on the calendar, they're all held online. So every workshop you can see is held online through Blackboard Collaborate and you can access it online. You can, um, you can attend it online. And this is our workshops calendar. And as you can see, if I scroll down, it is full to bursting with workshops on all manner of different topics. Now, some of these will be about library resources. Some of them will be about finding those resources, using them, critically thinking about them. We've got workshops on academic writing um, all sorts. And you can find these all um, here on our workshop calendar. So this is a bit meta, but this is the workshop that this video relates to. So this video that you're watching now is a video version, video version of this introduction to skills resources session. I'm going to click on that. Like I say, this is all, feel, all feels a bit, um, a bit strange because this is the description of what we've just been talking about. Um, but on this information here, we've got the link to join it at the relevant time and date that we've got there. We've also got here the option to register. So if you want to attend the workshop, I'd really, any of the workshops, I'd really recommend you register for them. Now, registering for the workshop does a couple of things. Firstly, it sends you automatic email reminders, or one automatic email reminder, I think, just to remind you that it's coming up. So if you sign up for a workshop that's happening in a month or so's time, you will get an email just to remind you that it's taking place. The other thing about registering is that we record all of our workshops and after the workshop has finished we send a link to the recording to everyone that's registered for that workshop. So as long as you have registered for the workshop you will get a link to the recording. So this is really helpful if you attend the workshop and you want to look back over it but it's also really helpful if it's a workshop you're interested in but that you can't make in person. By registering, so even if, even if you can't make, if you know you can't get along to the workshop or or if you, um, if you meet, if fully intend to get to the workshop but don't quite make it, as long as you've registered, you'll get that link to the recording. So if there's a workshop you're interested in but you can't make it, register anyway and you will get the link to that recording.
There we go, back to the main library homepage. The last thing I wanted to cover is just the further support that you've got. So where do you go next if you need more help? So there's a wide range of ways to get in touch with the library. I'm just going to pop back up the library chat because that is, as I say, is there. If this goes red, it means that there's no one there at the moment to answer the chat. Um, the chat is staffed 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, I believe, um, UK time. If it's red, you can click on it and submit a question. So you're not doing a live chat, but you can still submit your question and someone will get back to you when, when the chat is staffed again. So there's that. We've got our library contact details here, our email address, library.ace.uk. We've got the telephone number there that you can ring. We've got library help. Here we go. Here is our library help page. So this is frequently asked questions. You can search um, topics here and you can select a topic of the ones that we've got in, but you can type in your search words and it will bring up um, frequently asked questions related to those search terms. So a really good place to start if you need um, quick information. You can see some of the examples here, um, opening hours, do I need to book a slot to use the printer? How do I return my library books? All those things. How do I collect reservations? They're all there. Also, you've got your live chat there too so you can use that like I said, the live chats everywhere there's no escaping the live chat um so that library help page is there as well let me get back to the main home page last few things to mention because there's lots of places for further support um we are on twitter at derby uni library we're also on instagram at derby uni library so you can follow those and keep up to date and if you wanted to get in touch with us using those platforms then you can and I think that's most of the ways to get in touch with the library. Again, like I said, the workshops are a really good place to go for further help because they cover these subjects in more detail. So it might be that if you got in touch with the library um, through the live chat, they'd be able to give you some, some information to help you with your query, but they might say, actually, really, you need to be attending this workshop. Because the workshops are, have got all that, that more detailed, in-depth information. That brings us to the end of this um, video workshop. I'd like to end by thanking you very much for your time. Um, I hope that's given you an idea of just some of the resources and support that we have available for you here at the library to help you with your skills. Do go and take a look at those resources, have a look, have a play around, see what you can find, see what you can click on, see what you can explore, um, and see what you can find there that's going to help you with your studies as you progress. I'd like to wish you all the very best with your studies and hope to see you at further workshops and videos soon.